Hello friends. My name is Jayant. I study in grade 5. Welcome to my YouTube channel Maths with Jayant. I post math videos and through my videos I share the concepts with you. Today we are going to learn about division. What will we learn in division? First we will learn what is division. We will learn about the introduction. Then we are going to learn about the terms that we use in division. Then we are going to learn about how to divide using the long division method. And we are also going to learn how to verify the division. So let us get started with today's topic. Now let us understand what is division. So what is division? So suppose there is a school. The school has 500 students in all. And there are five grades in the school. So now if we are asked how many students, if each grade has the equal number of students, so how many students are going to be in each grade? So let's know now how many students are there in each grade. How will we find this out? For this, we have to separate these 500 students into 5 categories. We need to make it into 5 groups. So if you have to divide 500 into 5 groups, we can like divide them each as 100. It can be in each group. So 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 now okay, gives us 500. So now this 500 is separated like this. And we have got 5 grades like this. And each of them are equal. So we get to know that each grade has 100 students. And how do we write this? Over here, we have to divide 500 into 5 groups. So, we are going to write 500. We divide it by 5. That gives us 100 students. And this is the division sign. Line, 1 dot up and 1 dot down. So, like using the help of division, we found out the number of students in each grade. Now, let us learn the terms used in division. Suppose, let us take a division question. 500 divided by 5 gives us 100. So, we need to know what are each of these numbers called. So, this is the total. So, 500, it's the total. And the number that is being divided, and this number is called the dividend. Now, the number that we are dividing, or the number of groups, that is called the divisor. And the answer that we get all the items in each group. So the answer that we get is called the quotient. Q-U-O-T-I-E-N-T. -E These are the terms that we use in division. Now, always uh, the numbers are not small that we can divide them mentally. We need a perfect method to divide. So one such method is the long division method. Let us learn how to be divide using this method. Suppose we have a question. 
Four somethings give us 32. Yes. Four eights gives us 32. Now we get this one. Now as we observe this is smaller, we just write a zero over here. So any number we pull? No. Now we have this one left. Now this number that we usually get at the last is called the remainder. Now what is this remainder? Let us understand. Um, suppose we have a group of ice creams. Suppose we have five ice creams. So out of these high ice creams, we have to divide them among two people equally. So what do we do? We do five divided by two. We can uh, we can divide one group and two groups. So over here we get two groups, but this one is remaining. What should we do about this one? This one is the remaining and this is the remainder. So remainder is the extra that is remaining. So over here this one is remaining. So over here we don't write the exact way 1680. We can write over here quotient is equal to 1680 and the remainder is 1. Now let me suppose we are not unsure of your answer if it is correct or wrong. So now we we'll have to verify it. So how do we verify? Let's understand how we verify. So suppose now we have got to verify. So how do we verify? Yes. So let's understand. Quotient. So quotient. We have to multiply the quotient with the divisor. We have to multiply this with this. In this we have to add the remainder. Don't forget about the remainder. We do this and we get the dividend. Then our answer is correct. If not, then the answer is wrong. So suppose over here, let us check. 1680 into 4 plus 1 should give us 6721. So let's multiply. 1680 we multiply by 4. 4 zero are 0, 4 eights are 32. 3 comes here. 4 6 are 24 plus 3, 27. 1, 4 the 4 plus 2, 6. So this gives us 6720 plus 1 should give us 6721. So over here, if we add this, we get 6721. And we see that this is the same as the dividend. So, our, so the way we have solved is correct. The answer is correct. Let us learn more about verification. Now, let us solve a question and we will make a mistake in it. Let's see. 84 divided by 5. So, first let us go correct. 84 divided by 5. 5 ones are 5, like this we subtract and we get a 3. 34. Suppose I write 5, 7 are 30. Then I get this. Now let's see if we verify. Let's verify like this. So we already know quotient into divisor in that we add the remainder so we should get the dividend so we got we know the formula so using this let us check right now we have got the quotient as 17 into 5 we add 4 then we get 84 this is how we should get it 17 into 5 like if we multiply 17 into 5, we get 85. So according to 85 plus 4 should, should give us 84. But we have said that 85 plus 4 gives us 89 and not 84. 
we see that these two are not the same. Hence, this is wrong. Now, let us connect this. Over here, let's check. 5 on the 5, we get 3. 5 sevens do not give us 30. 5 6 are 30. And now, we subtract and we get 4. Now, let us check the verification again and see if we put the answer right or not. So, 16 into 5. This we have to add with 4 and we should get 84. 16 into 5 gives us 80 plus 4. This should give us 84. 80 plus 4 we say is 84 and we should get 84. So, hence now our division is correct. So, like this, we can verify. Hope you understood what is division, the terms used in division, what is long division and how to solve questions using them, and how do you verify the questions. Thank you.